Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, Cooper the Giant. We have a new dinosaur. In 2021, the biggest dinosaur that ever lived in Australia was just officially named and classified. It was a massive beast that researchers have named Australotitan cooperensis. The dinosaur has been nicknamed Cooper the Giant since it was about two stories tall. Its fossil was discovered in southwest Queensland, and it was about the size of a basketball court. According to the paleontologist who identified this extinct beast from the Queensland Museum, Cooper the Giant was about 21 feet tall at the hips and 100 feet long from the tip of its tail to the top of its head. It also had an outstanding weight of roughly 80 tons. Seeing as this dinosaur only ate plants, that's a pretty remarkable achievement. Cooper's bones had been crushed as if he had been trampled when he died, so scientists think he died somewhere a lot of dinosaurs went, maybe to drink water. It's one of the 15 largest dinosaurs ever discovered that lived between 96 and 92 million years ago. Researchers also found a cousin that's been nicknamed George. Its fossils weren't as intact as Cooper's, so scientists need more time to piece it back together and name it. Because scientists have found these large dinosaurs in Australia, which was once connected to Antarctica, they now want to plan a mission there to search for similar large dinosaur fossils. Number 9. The Migration of the Longnecks For the first time in scientific history, researchers can say beyond any doubt that long-necked dinosaurs migrated for hundreds of miles. We now know for a fact that these great beasts roamed across the American Midwest like migrating herds of buffalo. Researchers know this thanks to some seemingly ordinary pink rocks discovered in Wyoming. These pink stones were swallowed by the dinosaurs in Wisconsin. Then they walked about 600 miles to Wyoming, and they passed the stones there through their waist. Study researcher Josh Malone from the University of Texas says these rocks also called stomach stones or gastroliths, were used by the giant dinosaurs to help grind food up in their belly. They ate the rocks on purpose to help out with their digestion. They are fairly easy to recognize today because of their pinkish hue and the fact that they appear much more polished than other stones. That's from hanging out in the gastrointestinal tract of the dinos. Researchers then just needed to find some of these stomach stones, crush them into powder, and extract the zircon crystals. These crystals can be used to trace the origin of a particular rock. The ones they found in Wyoming had come from Wisconsin, from the Baraboo Formation specifically. This proved, once and for all, that long-necked dinosaurs were migrating animals. As for why long-necked dinosaurs, aka sauropods, migrated, it all had to do with food and rain. There was actually so much rain in the Midwest millions of years ago that the dinosaurs would have migrated east to avoid the rainy season, which made their plants too soggy to eat. Number 8. Egg Inside an Egg For the first time in history, a dinosaur egg has been found hidden inside of another dinosaur egg. It's a phenomenon known as ovum in ovo, and it's typically seen in chickens and other birds, as opposed to reptiles. Never mind dinosaurs. This amazing example of ovum in ovo comes from a titanosaurid, a type of sauropod which apparently had the ability to lay eggs, quite similarly to birds. This is pretty shocking, considering sauropods were some of the biggest plant-eating dinosaurs that ever lived, and yet they could just wander around popping out one egg after the other. The double egg was discovered in a Cretaceous formation in central India and was part of a much larger and even more outstanding discovery. Paleontologists uncovered 52 nests near a small village. The nests contained dozens of egg samples, but there was one nest in particular that contained 10 petrified dinosaur eggs and the double egg. Now, the only thing that's really going to change with this discovery is that we now know more about the reproductive strategies of these animals. For example, they were pretty much the opposite of reptiles like turtles who lay all their eggs at the same time. They were much more like birds and probably had specialized uteruses that constructed one egg before they began the construction of the next one. Number 7. The Evil Dinosaur 
An international team of researchers very recently identified a new species of dinosaur in Argentina. This dinosaur was an apex predator, something so vicious and deadly that it was named after an evil creature from local mythology. This beast has been named Mype Macrothorax, and it's the largest relative of the Megaraptora that's ever been found. A piece of its spinal column and some of its ribs were pulled out of a chunk of rock 70 million years old in the province of Santa Cruz. According to Makoto Manabe from the National Museum of Nature and Science in Tokyo, this creature definitely held one of the top carnivore spots in South America by the time the Cretaceous period was at an end. This animal was around 27 feet long, weighed 5 tons, and had an elongated head filled with sharp, pointed teeth. It also had extremely sharp claws on the end of its very short arms. Its name, Mype, comes from an evil spirit in Patagonian folklore. This spirit is said to freeze people to death with icy winds. The other half of its name, Macrothorax, comes from the fact its chest cavity was a whopping one meter wide. Number 6. Pregnant Ichthyosaur Scientists have finally discovered proof that dinosaurs had belly buttons. This shouldn't come as a total surprise considering most animals actually do have belly buttons. Every baby animal, from birds to reptiles, that develops inside an egg gets their nutrients from a specialized yolk sac connected directly to their abdomen. Even though you might not think it, birds and lizards also have umbilical scars. The only difference is that some of them heal very quickly in the first few days, and some of them have scars for the rest of their life. Now, an extremely well-preserved fossil of a Cetacosaurus has shown the first definitive evidence of a scaly dinosaur having its own belly button. Researchers used a new scientific technique called laser-stimulated fluorescence to see more details than ever before possible. They then compared the scale patterns of this ancient reptilian beast to those of alligators and found that they shared a lot of similarities. Considering alligators had belly buttons for life, it makes sense that this dinosaur did too. Unsurprisingly, this was the same dinosaur fossil that a different team of scientists recently used to identify the very first dinosaur cloaca. The cloaca was a utility, all-purpose hole used for doing everything from mating to laying eggs to expelling unneeded waste. The reason this fossil is so popular is that it was found in a truly exceptional state of preservation. It still has its original skin coloration, showing the leftover hues of the camouflage it had used to blend into its environment. And because of that, scientists have been using it to confirm all kinds of things they've always hypothesized but have never been able to actually see, like a dinosaur's belly button. Number 5. Meat Eater of the Sahara An extremely strange meat-eating dinosaur was recently discovered in the Sahara Desert of Egypt. This massive predator has yet to be named, but the team of American and Egyptian researchers say it's part of a group called Abelisaurid, theropods from the Middle Cretaceous about 98 million years ago. It was found in a rich fossil site known as the Bahariya Formation. This is the formation where plenty of terrifying dinosaurs have been discovered over the years, like the original specimens of the colossal Spinosaurus. This newest abelosaurid was identified only by a neck vertebra, which was found during an expedition here in 2016. Yet even with just one piece of the vertebra, researchers were able to determine a lot. The dinosaur had small teeth, tiny arms, and probably stood about 20 feet tall. It also would have had a face like a bulldog and maybe even some horns like a demon. Either way, this thing would have looked absolutely terrifying. But what makes this new discovery so truly fantastic is that it adds to the already huge stack of evidence that the Egyptian Sahara was a dangerous place. The area around the Bahariya oasis specifically would have been one of the scariest places on the planet 98 million years ago, according to researchers at Ohio University. Researchers actually have no idea how so many of the biggest and meanest predators were able to coexist in the same place. It was a land of giant carnivores and would have been one of the worst places to live as an herbivore. Number 4. 
pregnant ichthyosaur. Paleontologists recently unearthed an extraordinarily rare fossil in Patagonia. They found the leftover remains of a giant marine reptile that died during pregnancy. The creature is called an ichthyosaur, and it was kind of like a mix between a dolphin and a crocodile. It evolved about 251 million years ago, and its name translates to mean fish lizard. That should give you a pretty good idea of what this thing looked like. This was the first time such a discovery was made in Chile, an actual ichthyosaur that died while it was pregnant. According to Aaron Maxwell, who specializes in these animals, the discovery was made near the Tyndall Glacier in 2009, but it took 13 years for scientists to fully excavate the remains. This specific ichthyosaur was not the largest by any means. The biggest, according to National Geographic, was 69 feet from snout to tail. This one was only about 13 feet long, but it's the pregnancy part that makes it really special. When dinosaur fossils are found in any state in the pregnancy, it's a huge scientific opportunity. These kinds of fossils show the different stages in the life cycle of a dinosaur. For example, we now know that ichthyosaurs produced live young instead of laying eggs like modern reptiles. Number 3. Dinky Dinosaur A newly identified species of dinosaur has been confirmed as the oldest of its kind ever found in the UK. Researchers are calling it a dinky dinosaur because it was only about the size of a chicken. Its bones were uncovered in a quarry in Wales, and it appears to be a very small predator. It's a type of theropod, related to both the Tyrannosaurus rex and the modern chicken. It's about 3 feet long and lived from between 200 to 215 million years ago. In other words, at the very dawn of the dinosaurs. This has come as a pretty big shock because it really does show how life has gone full circle over 200 million years. Theropods started as these small chicken-sized dinosaurs, grew to be skyscrapers with stubby arms and huge teeth, and then once more shrunk to the size of chickens, right back where they started. The scientific name for the dinosaur is Pendrag milneray, and even though it was tiny, Stephen Speakman from the Natural History Museum in London says it was probably the apex predator of its area. Number 2. The Scissor Hands Dinosaur Scientists got extremely excited recently by the discovery of a dinosaur that had some seriously fearsome claws. In fact, the dinosaur's claws were so deadly that it's been nicknamed the Edward Scissorhands of dinosaurs. Five small fragments of fossils of this animal were originally found on the northern Hokkaido island of Japan in 2008. But it wasn't until recently that scientists were actually able to do a full analysis of the bones to make their findings. We now know the dinosaur belonged to a group called Therizinosaurs. These were creatures with three toes that lived sometime around 80 million years ago. But by far the most unexpected feature of the dinosaur has been its long claws. And yet despite how big and terrifying they were, the dinosaur didn't even use its claws for catching and slicing prey. These were plant eaters, and they used their sharp claws for hooking vegetation on high branches and scraping all the salad into their mouths. Unfortunately, not much else is known about this mysterious dinosaur. Scientists think it was probably about 30 feet long, that it lived primarily in coastal areas, and it may have been spread across much of the northern hemisphere. Number 1. Norway's Only Dinosaur The only dinosaur fossil ever discovered in the country of Norway also just so happened to break a world record. The fossil was the deepest ever uncovered. It was found during an oil drilling operation, and experts say the odds of it happening were less than winning the lottery. The thing about Scandinavia is that its geology predates the days of the dinosaurs. That means it's pretty much impossible to locate any dinosaur fossils in the region. It wasn't until 2006 that Norway finally discovered its very first dinosaur. But it wasn't actually made on land by paleontologists using brushes and excavation tools. It was found around 7,000 feet deep, underneath the seabed of the North Sea, off the coast of Norway. Those oil workers made one of the most shocking dinosaur discoveries in history. The fossil belonged to a Platosaurus, which was a massive herbivorous dinosaur that grew to about 24 feet long. 
It lived all over Europe and Greenland from between 210 and 195 million years ago. It was found at the bottom of the North Sea because all those years ago, it wasn't a sea at all. This was once dry land and a fertile breeding ground for dinosaurs. We will probably never know all the different species of dinosaur that lived in the region, seeing just how impossibly lucky it was to find this single specimen, which by the way was nothing but a crushed knuckle bone. But researchers believe that long ago, the entire region was rich in ancient biodiversity. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite dinosaur? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!